All right, I'm going to give you guys a super quick primer on how to do the photosynthesis light color simulation. Uh, you should have the directions, but this is just kind of a video in case those didn't make sense to you. Uh, you should also have the homework template, and uh, you should have the template here. It looks like this for entering your graph data. Okay, um, I have this set up on split screen. Uh, see me if you want to know how to do that trick. Otherwise, you can just you know click between the different tabs to get it on there. This makes it just a lot easier for entering. Anyways, first thing you want to do is you want to pick one of your three vegetables. I'm going to click spinach. I'm just going to do a couple of these. Great sound effects there. Now I want to change the color of the light, step two. Uh, this And I could do red for both, but you will speed up your data collection process if you do this one red and this one, let's go orange here. So I now have two different colors. I hit the on button and I'm going to let it grow, quote unquote, for 30 days. Now I want to grab that uh, ruler, just pull it up from there. The nice thing about this, you drag it across, you can't move it up or down, it's automatically measuring from the bottom of the pot to the top. I just need to manually grab the data. So I'd say this first one here, plant number one, I am seeing is about 16 centimeters, so I'm entering that. Plant number two, I'd say that's like 20.5. And if you're off by like a centimeter or a half centimeter, that's fine. Uh, this one is, looks like uh, 17 or so. All right. Now I'm going to do the orange color light. That one here, I'm getting about 15 and a half again. Uh, plant number two is going to be, I don't know, 17. And plant number three is going to be about 11. Okay, so as you do it, it's actually going to be building down an equation there. Don't worry about how it's got all this stuff here. When you have all the data entered, uh, it will look a little bit more complete. So that's how I do that. I am now just going to make up numbers here. Uh, that's a huge one. Making up numbers, please don't copy. In any case, right here, when all is said and done, it's now going to tell you the overall. Remember, fake data, do not copy. But it will show you a graph down there to show where it's growing best. It's fake data. Please don't interpret anything from this. In any case, when you're all done, uh, after you get that, you're going to want to reset that, and you're going to want to switch to green and then uh, blue. Remember, you have to use the exact same vegetable each time, and you're going to have to do this uh, for all of the colors. You're also going to need to do this for the radish and the lettuce. And it will fastest if you have your data on, or if you have different colors on there. Remember, in between, reset. Make sure you're using the exact same kind, and you're dragging the ruler up to measure. That's it.